everybody, welcome to my channel. I'm Chantal, and today I'm going to show you how to make super duper easy chicken fried steak. Okay, now obviously our main ingredient is steak, so cube steak, and I have six pieces, and believe it or not, in here with some flour, and instead of me dirty an extra plate with flour so I can coat both sides. I just put the flour in a bag, zip it up, and shake them, and now they're all evenly coated with the flour. And egg wash. So I've got two eggs and some water and just scrambled together. And in, in here I have panko seasoned breadcrumbs and panko are a little bit more crunchy than just the regular um, uh, breadcrumbs, which I like that little extra crunch. It's good. You don't have to, you can just use your regular if you wanted to. And I'm in the egg, I'm just gonna grind up some salt, put a little bit of um, uh, garlic powder, and in here, I'm also going to put in just a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper, okay? Now, you can omit this if you wanted to, um, but I'm just gonna add, just give it a little bit of spice, but it's not gonna be too spicy. Again, you can omit it if you want to, okay? So, let's just go ahead now. Our hands, of course, are our best tools. I've already washed my hands. So I'm just gonna take them out one at a time, shake the excess flour off. And as you can see, I have like an assembly line going on here. It's out of the way. And as you can see that it's completely coated in the flour. Now I'm just gonna evenly coat this and the egg wash and without making a mess and then put it in the breadcrumbs okay and so flip this over make sure it's all even now this is just a little time consuming yes but your family will love this it's a little treat um, for everybody. You can make a little gravy with this um, instead of you ordering it at the restaurants. It's super easy and inexpensive to make at home. All right, so we got one done. And of course, it's quicker when you use your hands. So, not once it's wet though. <laughs> so, one down, five more to go. In, evenly coat all everywhere. Make sure that where you see the flour that it gets wet with the egg wash, otherwise it won't stick inside the breadcrumb mixture. So get this all even. Now I didn't always make this. Um, I'm originally from Canada. So not too much of this is up north. So when I moved here to Florida, this is when I started making this. And I love it. I absolutely adore it. So, all right, time consuming. So I'm just gonna go ahead and fast forward you guys. So you guys can just watch and not get bored.
Okay, well, that took just a couple minutes. Little mess here and there, but that's okay. Cleaned up, and now we're ready to fry them. So let's get cooking. All right, so I have this on high just to get um, the oil warmed up here. I have some olive oil, and I wanna have it just enough to cover, um, just barely coming up the sides. And when it gets hot, I'm gonna turn the heat down to um, a medium high. And I'll only be putting in two at a time in here. And obviously I don't have enough room. So when I'm done, I'm gonna put them in here and the excess grease is just gonna drip in here. Sprinkle a little salt each time I take one out and um, give it that really nice, good seasoning and um, we're good to go. With our side, I'm just gonna have some mashed potatoes. The kiddo loves his mashed potatoes, so mash and country fried steak is what's gonna be for dinner. All right, so once this comes up, all right, I'm gonna turn it down a little bit. Don't wanna wear hot grease, not today. All right, so I can feel that it's starting to Come up to the heat that I'm wanting just by putting my hand above it. Okay. And or we can just get some of the breadcrumbs. Put that in there and if it starts to sizzle then it's ready to go. Not yet. They're not sizzling quite yet. Almost. Almost. We're getting there. These are full of flavor. Um, you don't need to add anything if you didn't want to because the breadcrumbs, uh, the seasoned breadcrumbs, there's plenty of seasoning in there. There's already some salt, parsley, all those um, delicious, flavorful. And, um, or if you wanted to uh, add some more seasoning, you could some pepper, all of that stuff to the flour mixture and the egg if you wanted to, just to give it that little extra. All right, so I can definitely feel the heat Okay, sizzling one, and gently put this one in here. Don't want to grab all of them at the same time. Put that in here. You don't want to overcrowd your frying pan. Okay, there we go. Now we're gonna let that sizzle until you start to see the edges brown. Flip just for a couple of minutes and lay them in here and a little salt and we're gonna cook the rest, okay?
All right, so we finally finished. I made some mashed potatoes here on the side. So let's go ahead and give this a little try. Pick one and get a little scoop of mashed potatoes. That way the kiddo doesn't see that I'm stealing his mashed potatoes. All right, really creamy. Mm. Delicious. Salt, pepper, a little butter, milk. Super easy to make mashed potatoes. But let's try this. All right, of course, super hot. I'm gonna burn my mouth again. Crunchy on the outside. Mmm. Mmm. Hot. Mmm. <laughs> so much flavor. I love adding that fresh salt as soon as it comes out. Mm. It just brings everything out, heightens up all the flavor. Believe it or not, that little bit of cayenne pepper, it kicks in after, but it's not too much at all. So you can omit the cayenne pepper if you want to, or add it, or add less. Totally up to you. It's delicious, that nice little heat warms you up mashed potatoes very filling and easy on the budget so I hope you try this easy recipe don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you know when my next video comes out thank you mm. Mm. Mm.